Hey, have you seen the Bloomberg article? It's called, Got a Hot Seller on Amazon? Prepare for e-tailer to make one too. Here is my 40 word summary. Amazon's got lots of data about what sells and what doesn't. They use the data to make their own products, mostly under the Amazon Basics label established in 2009. The label has over 3,000 items and a hand in everything. Tech, clothing, home, kitchen, etc. The article is in the description below for your reference. Anyways, they cite the example of Rain Design's laptop stand. It was doing well, then Amazon Basics made a cheaper one without infringing on the patent and took some of the market share. Off the bat, don't get upset with Amazon. No! No! Please! It's a smart move and it's their playground. It's private label at scale. However, you should prepare yourself now so that Amazon can't take your profit later, and that's what this piece is about. First off, are you even at risk of Amazon Basics sweeping your market? The answer is yes if your product has two or more of these traits, I would say. It's a crowded, consumer-facing category, so electronics, home, kitchen, baby, fitness, to name a few. It sells for $20 or less. So the average price among the top 100 Amazon Basics products was $19.52. They're not going after high-ticket items. Generic. If you and your competitors all look alike, and you know, you know what I'm talking about. Hello darkness, my old friend. Amazon can undercut all of you, and it's game over. They don't really have the FBA fees to pay. And if it's a physical product as opposed to an app, book, or service, Amazon Basics has not expanded to those yet. So here are six things you can do now to avoid the squeeze later. I'm going to go pretty top level with you, strategy, but there's also some really actionable advice in here. So number one is bundles. Amazon Basics has historically not copied unique bundle offers. So by creating a bundle kit or set, you can keep your edge. They cost too much for Amazon to produce and it's not, well, it's not basic. Which brings me to number two, luxury positioning. It's not Amazon Deluxe, it's Amazon Basics and it will deliver mass market $20-ish products until the end of time. They price low to get sales but also to force third-party vendors to price competitively for the benefit of Amazon shoppers. But here is your immunization. If your product attracts a customer who prefers to spend $200, $500, $1,000 for quality, you'll be safer than the seller with the generic mass market version. B2B, yes. Expand your product line to include untapped areas of Amazon business to business, industrial and scientific, senior care, or adult products. Can your product be modified to serve businesses? Could you sell to interior designers, office decorators, and restaurants? Talk to your supplier and see what they've got. Little guy positioning. Are you the founder? Is your product made in America? Can you provide personalized customer service? Amazon Basics can't use any of these selling points, but you can. Number five is patents. If you created your own product, a provisional patent application from the USPTO will give you 12 months of temporary protection in the USA for just $130. We also want to make sure that uh, you know, people's intellectual property is protected. This is where the patent pending status comes from, in case you wanted to know. So for the next 12 months, you can kind of decide whether it's a viable idea, if it's selling, and then complete the whole patent. Or not. No! No! Though I wouldn't really depend on IP since there are always ways to design around patents. Disclaimer, this isn't legal advice. Consult a licensed attorney before taking action to protect your intellectual property. Never talked this fast in my life. Number six is diversify. Don't rely on Amazon as your sole source of income. Yes, you should optimize your Amazon listings. Yes, you should get reviews with a service like Honest View. And yes, you should rank your products and get more sales. But after that, it's really time to branch out. Once your Amazon store makes a reasonable amount of sales, like $20,000 a month in revenue, invest in other channels. Your e-commerce website with ads and social media driving traffic to it. Retail distribution and other third-party online retailers. If you're gonna put all your eggs in one basket, you should really own the basket, like your own website. Amazon owns this basket and they'll crack you for omelets when it's convenient. That's just the truth. So to sum up, immunize yourself from Amazon Basics with bundling, luxury positioning, B2B products, little guy positioning in customer service, provisional patents, and diversification. Thanks a lot. I hope that was helpful. Leave a like and subscribe if it was, and I will see you in the next one.